Hey, hello everyone. I hope you're well. I've been on holidays for some time and that's why I haven't been making any videos. But we have been sharing videos uh, regarding the situation in Ukraine and also most importantly now the situation in Niger. So as you might have read on our Telegram channel, um, there has been a coup d'etat in Niger and um, as you know Niger used to be a French uh, colony and the French army is present in the country together with other Western countries. Uh, one of them is the United States. They got around 3,000 troops stationed in this country. This country is one of the poorest countries in Africa, okay, and um, it's a country which is pretty much uh, deserted, okay. However, it's a key and important country for countries like France, for example. Um, I believe it's thirty percent between twenty three and thirty percent of of uh, of the natural resources that France actually needs uh, to produce uh, nuclear energy, electricity, uh, uranium comes from Niger, what we call the yellow cake. So um, this coup d'etat, well, the the people that conducted the coup d'etat they 100% against France and its economic activities in the country. They have requested support from Russia, from um, the Warner military group. They're willing to pay them in order to come to the country and provide security. Recently, there was also a summit between Russia and African countries in which Russia has forgiven the debt to a number of African countries and they have also confirmed that they will be sending free grain and also free shipping of that grain to African countries just to show their position and their support for these countries in their path to economic independence. As you know, the unipolar world is no longer what it used to be and is transforming now into a multipolar world where you have countries like China and Russia that are willing to support African countries to develop in the right way, not in the way that they have been developing, which is better called underdeveloping under the rule of the West. So we have countries like uh, Mali, Burkina Faso and other countries in Africa that they went through this route that Niger is going at the moment. After a coup d'etat, a government was installed or a military government was installed and they implemented policies that pretty much protected economically, socially and politically their countries. However, they did not have uh, the military means to protect the country. Therefore, they rely on um, foreign companies like the Wagner Group. So they are in talks at the moment. They have requested urgent support from the Wagner Group in Niger to protect them against what they believe is going to be a French intervention. The USA um, is not willing to remove the 3,000 troops at the moment, okay? They have a major base in Niger and they, where they, they train drone pilots and they launch drone surveillance missions and attacks from here. And, and then France, as I said before, they have uh, mining activities and also very important, the, the is, uh, Niger exports a lot of gold as well, but the, the income from gold and uranium, people from the country, they don't actually know where it's going to because they're not benefiting from it. Um, the finance minister was asked to prove where is this money going, all this income that the country is getting from the export of natural resources. And we showed your video on Telegram showing this guy crying, tearing, because um, if he didn't provide that information, he will be executed by a firing squad. So there is quite a lot of comments from different uh, people from Africa saying that this should not be the norm, um, uh, continuous coups in different coup d'etat in different African countries to remove the government and they should seek democracy instead of instability. 
Um, however, it seems like this route is effective for some countries because they managed to liberate themselves from the um, kind of control, economic control of Western countries. And um, now they're seeking their own independence path. So we will see what will be the reaction of France because France have a very large interest in Niger and also the United States. So we will see what is going to be the actions, whether they're going to intervene and trying to remove the military junta that took over the government or they would just stay on the side because they won't have the power to confront this junta and if the Wagner forces move in they might not have the power to control the Wagner forces so there have been quite a lot of comments regarding this type of change of regime of government some people support it some people completely disagree with it those who support it clearly say that it's not just about economic freedom but also protection from those that want to uh, exploit the resources from different African countries therefore an external um, company, military company like the Warner Group will ensure that this country continues to be protected against uh, countries that seek to exploit these resources and see these resources as their property rather than the property of those that live in the country. Those who oppose this type of uh, change of regime through a military coup, they're actually saying that this is not democracy and this country is the one transition into democracy. However, is democracy right for African countries? Is democracy the best system in this world? That's a question you need to ask yourself. Um, anyways, we've seen what happened in Libya. We've seen what happened in Ivory Coast when um, President Gabo was removed from power and the French intervened in order to impose a new president that used to work for the International Monetary Fund, which did not change much the country, the economics, the politics, or the, the society itself. So we will see what's going to happen in Niger. We'll continue sharing information with you. And soon we will be making a video, a detailed video, uh, basically explaining to you um, what is the interest of France in this country, what is the interest of the United States, and what is at stake for all these countries, and also what will be um, the future of Niger if he follows this path. A very important news that came out recently, the government of Nigeria has basically opposed this coup. They have cut the electricity uh, to this country and there's quite a lot of blackouts in this country. So as you can see, countries like Nigeria and others do not support this and they are willing to basically force this new government to change. Another important thing um, the current uh, acting president of Burkina Faso, which is a military guy, he, re he recently went to Moscow and he gave a very great speech explaining the reason why his country is in the economic situation in which he is. The important fact is that Russia did accept this individual in the summit, which is important. They recognize this person as the actual administrator or uh, political figure of this of this country therefore they're willing to deal with this person and to be honest after listening to his speech he's got the interest of his country in his heart and he's willing to uh, reach agreements with Russia and other countries that are willing to see the prosperity of his country so we will continue informing you and as I say we will we will prepare a detailed video about the situation in Niger because it's extremely important. Just bear in mind that France is one of the main countries that generates electricity in the EU uh, using nuclear energy and now this could put um, the position of France in, in, in danger basically. Well, not really. They might just have to pay the correct money or the right money for the resources that they are importing into the country to uh, create or generate electricity. So we'll continue informing you.